Hi, this is Jeremy Venable with J&J Power Sports. In this video, what we're going to talk about is what you're going to receive when you order a scooter alarm with Remote Spark from J&J Power Sports. Now, at J&J Power Sports, we ship everything priority mail through the U.S. Post Office. So, depending on where you live in the country, you should receive your alarm within five to seven days of when you first place the order. Now, your scooter alarm will arrive in an envelope just like this one here. Inside, you're going to find a box that's so going to house the alarm. It's going to look like this here. And inside of the box, here's what you, you should have received, okay? You should receive two key fobs, one horn, and the brain box for your alarm. Now, this here houses all the electronic devices and everything like that. Now, the one thing I really love about this alarm is this. One, it's got an extremely loud horn. So that way, when it goes off, there's going to be, you know, there's going to be lots of noise. Lots of people will hear it. You should be able to hear it because it, very, it makes a very distinct noise. The other thing I like about this alarm, this thing will install on virtually every Chinese scooter that's manufactured. Now, after this video, I'm going to post another video that teaches you how to install your alarm, how to work the remotes and everything like that. But the one thing you're going to want to look for on your wiring harness, and it should be under the front cover of your, of your scooter, is a is a little bitty plug that looks just like this one here. Now, if you have a plug that looks like this one here, then all you need to do is plug this thing in right into your scooter and your alarm is already set. And then all you gotta do is to attach your horn and the brain box inside of your scooter, scooter compartment up front and you're all set. It's really that simple. So if you're all ready to order your alarm, you can go ahead and click add the cart now. Go ahead and add that to cart and check out and pay. And this will we'll ship your alarm out. Usually we ship it out the next day or uh, the next business day, just depending on when we get your order. Now, if you still need some more details, and you'd like to understand on how to install your alarm, stay tuned. And right after, right after this video is over with, I will put the other video up. This is Jeremy Vidup, J&J Power Sports. Thanks. For Hi, this is Jeremy Venup, and today what I'm going to do is demonstrate for you how to install and how to operate a remote start and alarm for your scooter. Uh, we just got these in the other day. They're brand new for this year, and I'm really excited to tell you about them. I've had a lot of fun with them. We've been playing with them here all week at the shop. And uh, right now on this ATM50, we've already got one installed. So first thing I want to demonstrate for you is how to use uh, the remote start. Now, I've used this. You can I don't know if you can tell by the video, but our shop is really big. And you know, I've, I've remote, remote started them from about 100 feet away, so it's pretty cool. What you need to do is you're just gonna press the lightning bolt on your key fob once. You'll see the lights come on the bike. And when you hit it again and hold it, the bike will go ahead and start right up for you. So it's pretty cool. It'd be good on a cold day or something like that when you're gonna ride and you wanna warm your bike up. So all you need to do to shut your bike off just hit the metal button and it shuts your bike right off for you. Next thing I'm going to demonstrate for you is how to use the, the alarm system. I know scooter theft is a big deal. I don't know if you heard that, but scooter theft is a big deal these days. And, you know, I get a lot of complaints from people going, man, this is the second scooter I bought. They both got stolen. Do you have alarms for them? Well, this year we've got some very good alarms for them that don't run your battery down. So anyway, all you need to do to set your alarm is you're going to hit the lock button on your scooter, let you know it's alarm. Then if you hit it, it's going, to, it's going to scream at you a little bit and say, hey, get away from me. Now, if it sets there for a couple minutes and somebody else wants to try to do something with it, now it's going to get really pissed off. And it's going to get really mad and uh, go off until everybody says, hey, look at me. You know, somebody's stealing me. So uh, that's real simple. All it is is four buttons on here and uh, very, very simple to operate and very simple to install. Next thing I want to do, <clears throat> put the keys up here, is I want to show you how to install one. When you get a box, this is what it's going to look like. All right, very simple. What you're going to get is you're going to get two key fobs. I don't know if you can be able to see that on your computer. You're also going to get the, the remote this is where you know the motion detector is. This is basically the brains of it, and you're going to get a horn. Okay, both of them have sticky on the back of them, so they're super easy to install. So here's what I'm going to do. I'll show you how to put one on. <clears throat> All you need to do is take the front of your moped off. Okay, there's four four bolts in the back and one in the front. You need to take it off. All right. Now once you take it off, you're going to see your wiring harness and everything in here. 
All these scooters should have a should have a plug just like this with just a loop in it. Okay, you zoomed in on that so they can see it. <clears throat> okay. Now all you need to do when you install this is remove this plug. Take your alarm, take your key fobs off. Take your alarm and plug it directly in to your scooter. Now that's already that's on your scooter. Now all you need to do, yep, we know you're on there. Now all you need to do is take the sticky off of the back of these and there's one that comes in the box and you can mount them anywhere inside of this compartment. What I recommend you do, if you can see this, Mount them somewhere here on the inside. Probably take a little bit of alcohol, clean this off a little bit so your sticky will, will stick a little bit better. Um, I don't know if I would use super glue or not. You could if you want to, but super easy install. Hey, this is Jeremy Vinip again. I just want to say thank you for watching the entire video. I Hopefully you learned how to install your, your alarm system on your scooter and how to work it. Uh, one thing I want to clarify a little bit because in the video it didn't really show very good, but this plug right here, this is what plugs directly Directly into your scooter all right if you look in your scooter and this plug it should match up there should be there's actually nine holes in this plug but there's only eight little prongs that come out that will actually plug into your scooter so I know some of the scooters like the ones the Tau Tau's the ones I have in the video those there have the little jumper wire box in there um, other scooters may not have it especially if you bought a used scooter and somebody has removed that so but if you look for a plug that is similar to this one here with the nine holes and uh, you know basically the eight little prongs sticking out then you probably got a scooter with uh, the correct wiring harness on it now if you don't have a scooter with the correct wiring harness, you can still order the alarm, but what you have to do is you have to hardwire them into uh, your, your wiring harness. So it makes it a little bit more difficult, but it is still doable. So if you're, go if you're ready to go ahead and buy one, you can go ahead and click Add to Cart now. And this is Jeremy Vittable with J&J Power Sports. We appreciate you watching. Thanks. Talk to you soon.